collection continues as I decimate my collection. We've had a lot of fun down here over the years. As a matter of fact, let me show you real quick before we continue with the black lights on how neat everything glows. My uh, lighting is from an old movie theater. It's from an old theater light and an old exit light. We have them in the other part. You'll see more of that later. But I want to show you some rarities. These are coming, by the way. This will be the next video. <laughs> See, you got to keep watching. Well, right here, we've got two Exidy Cabaret games that are, in fact, very rare now. Now, from what we've gathered and all the information we've discovered, they probably made under 5,000 Targs, uprights, maybe just a few hundred cabarets. Inspector, there's very few numbers on. There were more uprights than cabarets, but so few. Now, look at these cabinets. A little similar to the Atari cabinets, but chunkier, bigger. But they still only had 30 or 13 inch televisions inside. Now, the control panels were still very large. And from what we gather, the only two produced in cabaret format. We were sort of hoping they made other games, uh, Venture, Pepper 2, and Cabaret's Victory, but alas, no. This was it. These are metal up here. Very good idea because people would grab them here and the wood wouldn't get chewed up. And the logo glass did light up with a fluorescent light that was installed by the factory. Atari actually didn't have these lit. And a lot of people put fluorescent lights in because they thought they should light. As Big Doug and Centipede is over here, behind uh, the Targ. Look how squat they are. So they're shorter than most, pretty much every other cabaret company that was making at the time. Targ came out in June of 1980. And Six months later, five months later, it was followed by Spectre, also in 1980. It was a spin-off, a glorified version of the first game. Now look at this joystick, this humongous, huge micro-switch joystick. Okay, some people loved it, some people hated it. But the secret to Targ was the fact that the joystick did change your, your direction of your guy, but you had to hit it twice once to slow it down in the opposite direction and the second time to actually uh, stop it. Very confusing controls, but once you master them, it was terrific. Now, before we go into gameplay, I wanted to go over a few things. Coin door lights are not in the slots. They never lit the coin slots. And they both have the speaker here up front. Come back here, because cleverly, We'll tr start with Targ. I have this fluorescent light. Used a great color monitor. We've recapped the new capacitors. The power supply, this awful power supply, was replaced with a new computer grade one here. That will just plug in down the road if they need to change that. Over here is the logic board. Do you see it here? On the side. Tammy is filming. And I'm going to show you some details on the logic board. The top board here looks a lot like their black and white games, like Crash and such, but it is different. The color ones were slightly different, and the reason is is because they had to have more EEPROMs. Each of these EEPROMs has an amazing 2K of memory. So this board, these five EEPROMs, created 10K of memory. Now that's probably the same amount of memory that's in your greeting card that you open up and play as a song. <laughs> this ROM here is a 1K ROM there, total of 11K. That provides the man you're playing, your Wummel, that's what he's called, that moves on the game screen. And this is the soundboard. And there's no ROMs on that at all. It's all dis what they call discrete components. And guess what? They had to have a color board. 
See down there? That board creates the color. Without that board, black and white. So the ribbon cable, 14 pin ribbon cable, carries it down to this board, creates the color, and it comes out of this connector, which connects to the monitor. Tammy, come back. We're going to look back up Spectre. You will see a very similar setup. Same monitor, but uh, inside there's a logic board here. It's all set up. Um, but look, we have an additional bonus. We had a original manual we were able to put in there for the fella. He's getting this. See that big six by nine speaker for plenty of woof. Your volume pot's inside the front door, as you could see. Now, I have, as a bonus, some of my machines had a spare board. See, so now you can see the Spectre. You couldn't interchange the boards. You couldn't put a Spectre chips in a, in a TAR game. But you could plug them in because the edge connectors were the same. So you could take your TARG board out and put a Spectre in. And I actually did that in a couple cases where we had Spectre boards in no game. We upgraded the customer. This is a spare working board we're giving our customer. It had six EEPROMs rather than five. And see that we're ready to expand to a seventh. The NAT ROM there, this is 12K, and the NAT ROM there provides the movement of the ship. And you see your soundboard, that's your master volume, and each of these pots here controls individual sounds, which you could adjust. You can see they have a little lump of, of uh, rubber to keep them adjusted, right? And there's our ribbon cable, and there is the color board. Look right here. You see these jumpers here? This is how you could set the board up to change the colors. So there were adjustments and changes for different games. Remember, they used the same board system for a number of their games. This uses the uh, thing at 60, 6502 processor. That's the processor. It does all this stuff. Oh, look. You see, the C's aren't broken. This replaces a dip switch. So there could have been a dip switch plugged into that at some point, but they cut these to set the game board up the way they want it. It's very similar over here with this one, too. Isn't that something? That's kind of a crude way to do it. Why not just put the dip switch on it? Look, see this here? A lot of people see, what are these? This is a way for companies that were selling the games to tag them so they have a serial number so they give it a warranty and they put it neat underneath one of the soldered in parts and you can easily tell if that was unsoldered and this removed and moved to another board I don't know if anybody that really did that though but it's kind of neat but anyway I'm pleased to say our customer will also get that we wrap that up and put that inside our beautiful game isn't it neat looking inside here. We chose to put yellow tea molding on this one and then we left the we actually have black um, leather pattern on that. That's brand new tea molding and uh, Steve elected to do that with that one. Look at the beautiful sides on this. The original wood sides were always better than putting replacement vinyl on. If you can preserve this. Now, interestingly enough, come over here Tammy. This side, I'm going to tilt this so you can see it better. Stephen matched in. This was all gone. And the customer had painted this brown and matched the other side. Well, he took all that off. It came right off. This beautiful wood is still showing. And then Stephen matched, painted that brown in and matched the wood green. I think he did a beautiful job on that. How many specters are there left on planet Earth? Not many. Now, what's interesting about the game is there's only a total of nine bonuses you can get. If you finish a rack on the game, you will get a thousand points. And then the next rack, the, the, um, uh, the little guys chasing you, which in fact are called Targs. 
Torg. That's what's chasing you. The red arrows is what people say are worth 10 points. See? But on the second rack, they're worth 20. Third rack, they're worth 30, 40, 50. The maze stays the same. This 9x9 nine nine block never varies. The red things do not shoot at you. The only thing that shoots at you is, in fact, the smuggler. I'm looking at my cheat sheet. I can't remember all this. That's the little green guy. See, he can shoot at you. Okay, and kill you eventually. Okay? Uh, let's see. And, of course, this is called the Crystal City. That's what they called it. Now, if we look over at this game, this game has the same nine screens, but each screen is different because there's that extra ROM that's able to give a little more chunkiness to the programming. It's not a good word, chunkiness. <laughs> Look, they're not evenly spaced. There's blocks, there's things blocking their way, and do you see the little stars that are spinning? Like Pac-Man, they said you had to get the stars, you had to gobble them up. So if you killed all the ships chasing you, all the targs chasing you, or you got all the stars, you went on to the next screen. The scoring was exactly the same. 10 points uh, for every single uh, red creature on the first screen, the red uh, targ, and then on the second screen they're worth 20, 30, 40, 50. Uh, the other neat thing about is the smuggler is worth a lot more points, and that also goes up in value. And it has the same controls. Here, let's start over here. I think it's time everybody's waiting for us to play. Keep going. Okay, here we go. Now, I only got three guys. I don't play this too well. But what I'm going to try to do is try to kill as many of these guys. Oh, now did you see he just appeared after a few seconds? The smuggler comes out. Oh, I got 500 points for the smuggler. Of course, there's only a few guys on the screen now. Watch. I have to go twice to reverse direction. So, if you're going to change direction, you don't right away. See? So you actually have to hit the joystick twice. So the best... Uh, do you see that black, that dot? He was just about to appear and kill me. Darn it! Did you see him reverse? That creep. I want to get to the next level. One guy left here. He reversed again on me. was like that little sparkle they put in there. Now my red fellas are worth 20,000, my red targs. Now remember, to change direction, I actually have to hit the joystick twice. So it's best to try to do a circle and to come up behind your enemy. better with this one. Okay, now we're ready. Now, this version, now, I want you to listen. Can you hear them playing the music? Uh, the the, the uh, YouTube video and the main version doesn't seem to have that in it. I don't know why. She has the Space Invaders sound, see? Eh? And I got a nice big chunk of points for that one. Now, if you wait too long, they start to go your speed. So the longer you tie up um, your targs, the faster you die, like that. Oh boy, that's not good time. I want to get to the next screen. Last chance, Tim. I so wish a lot of you guys would get a chance to play one of these. 
All I have to do is do that. Okay, now everything will be worth 20. Now, of course, this is, uh, even though there's nine levels of play, you only have nine different screens. You can still continue playing it, and you go higher and higher score. You're not going to see me do that. Really, the honest, honest to goodness, we didn't have both of these games down here for a long time. Target's been buried in my warehouse for years. Well, hopefully you guys will get a chance to find and see some of these. I wonder how many, though. Once again, the production numbers seem to be under 5,000 for each game. But nobody really knows for sure. Now, I do know that I saw several of these appear from time to time on the collector websites and such. But, for now, this is all we're going to present for our two classic Exidy games. But guess what? We are going to now go to some footage I filmed of the guy picking up the Pharaoh game. Originally, that was going to start this video. But I said, you know what? It's important that we present 15 and 16. That's right. 15 and 16 of my wonderful collection. And soon, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Right, Tommy? That's right. Robotron, Matrix, Stargate, Bubbles. So let's get to the shop and see the guys picking up the Pharaoh. Well, we're starting the video with the Pharaoh, and I understand you're hysterical because there's no sticker on it? Oh, there's not Yes. One. Wait a minute. That's the first thing you said when it came up. There's no sticker. Wrong. Look. Keep looking. I didn't put the sticker on the apron because it would cover up critical words. Now, keep looking. Where's the sticker hiding? Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, Ah, <laughs> yes, and look what else, boys. You're here to see the opening of this box. Somebody sent this to me. It's from the River Colony Trading Company. Where is, I need somebody. Here, who wants to hold the camera? Me. All right. I'm, I'm holding the camera. He's going to hold the camera. This is amazing. Because <laughs> you're in time to see. I suspect this is coffee. I was going to say, if it's candy, we'll all eat it. It's Death Wish Coffee. Death Wish Coffee. Is it? Fiercely caffeinated. Oh, yes. <laughs> no, oh gosh, no. It's another kind. Let's see. see. Hi, Todd. Please see my email letter of complaint. I already read that in the, in the other video. The game was so good, I can't get a tour. It's an outrage. My best of the team. Live long and prosper. French Roast Coffee. And it's from Cafe Dull Moon Day coffee stand. I tore that apart, didn't I? Listen. Oh, oh, I was going to pop it open, but I need the can opener. Did you hear this? Did you hear this? You hear it. By the way, this is probably the only Super Zaxxon Cabaret in the world. A dedicated one. It's awful now. It's awful now. We're trying to make it. But look, look what's nice. Look, they're okay. getting the game and they're filming. See, I'm putting them to work. This is this is incredible. I like am ten bucks off for filming. I don't see why not. <laughs> why don't you play it? The experience itself is worth everything. Hold the fairest chamber, and you got your dual action flippers. <laughs> see? Oh, I like those. There's nothing like dual action. I always like this effect. See the effect up here? Okay. Yeah, just look up here. To be a cameraman, you gotta be right with it. Aye, aye. When I point, see for instance, if I point over here to Dad, see? If I point over here, see? You gotta be on the ball. Aye. And if I say swing around and do Steven. Give us a look at disgust, Steven. You know that look well. 
He hates me. <laughs> Show him no. what I have to paint. No, no. All right, let's talk. Here on. All right. He's taken off. Now you're gonna see what this looks like when it's done. He's taken off the original paint that some clod hopper put on. Some idiot spray painted it brown. They did. They spray painted this. He's removed this. This is the original wood finish, which is extraordinary. This is the best material to work with. And on this side, it's not as bad. Okay. So, well, we're doing this because we're going to show this footage later in a repeat. Because when Steven's done with this, you're going to think the factory just put a new sheet on it. You will. Steven, he says no, but he will. He will. And now back here, wow, sitting around again. He's hunting for screws. I swear, the audience is going to be so dizzy by the time they're done One, with the two, three. Oh, God, useless, worthless. Everybody likes it when I say that. <laughs> we're actually going to do a side-by-side -side Super Zaxxon comparison. What? To that coming. But anyway, what do you think of your baby? Amazing, precious, thorough. Didn't look like you've been following the videos all along, so you know it didn't start out this nice. And the earlier video before this shows you how nice it is. We, 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 see, we keep the stuff going out. Episodes. I consider these TV episodes. They're pretty much up. Yeah. Which one will this be? 1170 or something? Uh, My favorite still I will see, always be the touch up on the back glass, so that looks much nicer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is that, as I explained it, like this is a, a bylar. Nobody else makes it. And I think this is as best as you can do considering it's mirrored. Yeah. So we find that uh, it was certainly the old glass. Do you remember what that looked like? I don't remember what video I had it in. Do you? It was shattered, right? See, it wasn't shattered, but the, the paint, the paint had fallen off in sheet. I think it was just it's like been a so long. Paint yeah. the of it. I took a picture <laughs> of it. Oh, it's beautiful. Displays picture now with a wave of the hands. Yes. After yes. effects team, get on that. I could, you know? Yeah. Now, I'll tell you what, how about, the paint and just hand how about if this young man, we do a little yeah, magic here. Now, here's how we do it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, you're going to make your, fa your father disappear. So step back a little bit. Okay, now, now you're going to hold the camera perfectly still, and you're going to make your father disappear. Now, watch how we do it. Now, what you have to do is tap the three and then snap your fingers. Okay, go ahead. Count out loud so that people can hear. One, two, three. What did you do to me? Make me come back. Make me come back. Your father's supposed to disappear, not me. Go ahead. Make me come back. You oh, he must have went to the Pharaoh's tomb. <laughs> One, two, three. He would do that. Now, how was that? I love you know how much those effects cost? Hundred dollars in effect. I was gonna say a small loan is a so million dollars. Add it to the bill, of the pharaoh, the mighty pharaoh. <laughs> okay, let's get this loaded up. <laughs> well, I am exhausted from loading this game up. Yeah, the sweat's beating off your forehead. Is it? Too much air conditioning in the office. No. Is Alex going to play this game first? You're going to be the first one playing? Who, who wants to be first game? Who wants to have first probably, game? It'll probably be Alex. It may be me, it might be Alan. Not your mother, right? She'll play it. She'll play She'll it. play it, but she won't understand it, will she? Yeah, she actually likes it. They do? Yeah, what, she she because my, my wife doesn't get it. Yeah, she, she, She's not going to see this video is either. Favorite game is Tron. My favorite video is Tron. My favorite video is Tron. He's already settled. You better not be playing a game. Pokemon Go! How come I'm not set up for that? How come How come there's no hidden animals here? I caught two Pokemon here. I'm more hyper than the frog, right? See? We're all packed up. Well, it's like... So you can hold four people and a pharaoh in an expedition. Four people and a pharaoh. 
And do, do you want to take that home and pop yes, it? Yes, absolutely. Oh, he's going to pop it the whole ride home. I'll give him an extra piece for popping. Oh, why, thank you. Okay. Now listen, if you have any problems, don't call me. We'll Just bring the game back. Just bring it back. We'll call Frank and then he'll force feed you some great pills. Ah, that ain't gonna work. You, you gotta see, ask for Kurt. They watch my videos. You gentlemen, you're off. Thank you. All right, thank you. Some fairway. You'll be off. Oh gosh, I'm glad to be rid of them. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, Jonathan beat from loading this truck. I'm exhausted from dealing with customers. Just kidding. <sighs> Can we call this video an end? <laughs> Good night, folks.